How you doing guys? Um, I'm coming to you with this video uh, with a quick fix. Hopefully I'm not too long-winded. Uh, for those of you that run Final Cut Pro X uh, and have 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 issues um, with the upgrade, uh, I've had a plethora of issues, mainly the beach ball of death. Um, I'm doing this screen record on my MacBook Air, uh, not my main machine where I do most of my editing. Uh, just to let you know, as far as specs go, uh, my main machine is a late 2011 iMac, 20 gig of RAM, i7 uh, core uh, processor, uh, and it's I have a, a Thunderbolt drive with all of my media, uh, be it the raw media, uh, the events and the projects from Final Cut Pro, uh, etc. So the way that the old Final Cut Pro would work is it separated, and I'm sure you already know this, but I'll just reiterate this real quick. It separated the events and the projects into two separate entities or two separate containers, whatever you want to call it. The way I managed my media was to name the project and the event the same. Now I would pull elements from different events into a project as necessary, be it a logo bug or an intro graphic or even uh, music or track, or audio track, anything like that. I might pull that from a different event into the project, but mainly I would have a project and an event with the same name. Uh, that was the best way for me to organize my work flow. Now, with the new edition of Final Cut Pro, it puts everything into a library. Okay, so before I open Final Cut, I'll go over here. And this is what the library looks like when you open it up in Finder. So what it does when you do the upgrade, it just takes the name of where you had your the, the, the whatever hard drive or image, uh, I guess it would be a hard drive, wherever you had your Final Cut projects and events stored, you would rename it and create this library. And as you can see, you can't drill into this. Um, you can, however, show package contents, and then you'll see that what you're kind of used to from before, where you would see what looks like the different event files, okay? Um, so, yeah, it's a good idea, I suppose, but on my main machine, I had 50, 50 events with 50 corresponding projects give or take. So it was gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs worth of uh, footage and rendering files and project files. It was just immense. So I think that's where I was running into the beach ball of death. So opening up the program, it opens up far more fast, uh, or far faster I should say, on this <laughs> Mac Air with the SSD drive than the uh, iMac. But anyway, this is also a very small library and a small amount of media uh, because this is obviously, like I said earlier, not what I use to edit on on a daily basis. Um, what would happen to me is I had two, two libraries. When I upgraded it ended up making two libraries on my iMac. It created a library uh, from videos that I had uh, on, on, on that Thunderbolt drive and it actually called it Thunderbolt drive something at the moment I can't recall. Um, and it also did what it, similar, something similar here where I had some locally stored projects. So I had two libraries. And I, th when I opened up the program, 
it did not show anything. It just said untitled library and uh, an event with just a date. It was completely blank. So what I had to do was I had to go up here and I had to open library. And when I did that, I had the choice of the Thunderbolt Drive library and the locally stored library. In this case, it's just a local library. I don't have anything connected to it, etc. So I had to open it up. And when I would do that, it would open. I'd get the beach ball of death for a little while, but it would open. Well, what happened though is I would begin to click. Well, once I started to figure out how libraries worked, and I won't go into this with too much detail, but when you first upgrade, it throws all of, it just says upgrade projects, and it throws all the projects into uh, this container here underneath the file with all the corresponding uh, events, or what used to be events, underneath it. So what I did, what I tried to do, was I said, okay, and again, I read up on libraries, how they work, and how they're supposed to manage your media, etc. So I figured the best idea would be to click and drag um, any one of these into the corresponding event within this new library. Okay, great. So I was able to do that with, with a modicum of success. I would get the beach ball of death, and I'd have to force quit it uh, here and there. And then it became so that I would have to force quit nearly every time I would click on certain uh, projects and events, whatever these are called. I forget what they're called underneath the library. I guess they're just events now. But I would, I would click on the event and it would just give me the beach ball of death and that was it. You're done. There was nothing going on. So, this is the best fix I came up with. I'm sorry I'm being long-winded with this, but I wanted to just hopefully give you the best background on my struggles over the past week and a half as best I can. I determined that the best course of action was to create a separate library for each in each individual event okay so this is after having pulled the projects which I'll do now see what happens shouldn't take too long given that there's only three here um, so I'm assuming hello see what would happen in view with my iMac is I would click on the project, I'd get the beach ball of death, and I was done. So I'm able to pull this over to here. I think I may have pulled the wrong one. Yeah, I did. Now th this is... There we go. Put that one in Black Friday. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so the... Now you see how I have things organized. Black Friday is probably a better uh, example. So there was just the footage, although I did tilt it in the project down here. Here's the project. So it's just the track and the, uh, the video. And here's the project. So you double click that, although it's already loaded, but you double click it and it would show up. No longer do you have a menu over here like you used to with the projects. It's all up here. So after having done this, it would still, it, all those individual events and projects were all in a single container underneath the library. Okay, great. So I thought, we're good. No. Not even close. I would click on certain things, especially those that uh, that have missing files, etc. And I got nothing. It would just give me the beach ball of death. So here's the best um, scenario I came up with.
So you copy the name, go up the file, open library, I'm sorry, new library. Okay. Use the same name, or if you want to change it, have at it. And then I, I'm going to use the same location. So I've created a new library. Now, when it does that, it creates a library and gives you a undefined event here with just a date. So you take your event here and you drag it up into the library that you just created. Just copy media to the Black Friday new library, optimize media, click OK, and it pulls it, moves it into, I'm sorry, it copies it into this one. So, of course, check that everything is there, and then go into this one and move the event to the trash. So now, when you go, and then you can also click on this, because libraries have to have an event in them, whether they're dated, named, whatever, they have to have something in them. So now that you moved your old event into the new library, you can move this empty event into the trash. So now it's nice and clean, it's got a library with the same name as the event. And when you go into the uh, into wherever you have these things saved, see now you have the Black Friday library in addition to the large library that you had before. So I'll do that again real quick with um, the Mizuno. Just, again, copy the name, go to the file, new, stop fighting this one, okay, library, copy it in, save it to the same area, same container, now again, it's always going to give you this demented event that has nothing in it. So you go over, make sure you pull it into there, or the other way you can do it, is you click on the event, go to the file, and move. In fact, this is a better way to do it, because it doesn't copy it. Gives you the same dialog box, okay, and it moves it, so you don't have to delete it. So it moves it into there. You can then delete this. Then you have the library with the event and project. Hello, there's the project. One's missing, one's there. Okay, so now what you can do after after doing this uh, to clean things up, um, you can close the library, and nothing happens. It doesn't delete it. It just closes it from this menu. So going back into here, you should see the new library that I created, MP53. So I think as of right now, this is the best, if you have a lot of media, or if you had a lot of media like I did in the events and the projects and it merged it all into one library, this may may solve your problem. It so far I think it solved mine where I can if I close this library, right? Just close it. And let's say I need to uh get back into that because I'm editing, I don't know, some footage and I need a something with a Mizuno here. I can open the Mizuno library and there it is. Bam. Thank you ma'am. Okay. And you can close it again. And real quick while I'm on this subject 
if you want to open a library, if you've done all this, like I did, where you have 50 um, events that you had to make 50 libraries for, which I don't think is the answer, but it's the only thing I could do to make this program work so I could continue to make videos and edit footage for people. Um, if you go into other, you can choose the library. All the libraries that you made should show up here. If they don't, you can hit locate and they should then show up in whatever uh, file folder or hard drive you have them saved on and you click open and you're good to go. Um, so hopefully that was clear. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, give me a comment down below um, and I'll try to answer it as best I can.